All right, here we go. End of day market overview. Last time for the week Friday, guys, we got a couple of changes that deserves our attention. First of all, we'll start with the Aussie Japanese yen short position that we have. Looking pretty good given um, the pullback that we've seen just today. We got a heavy size position here, 25K. And it's I think it's making its way towards 93.13. Here, we actually believe it's going to continue to the previous low, 91.75. So that's where we're coming from with this one. No big changes here. There is... There is... Um, the pound Swiss franc, right? The main video today was all about this one. The breakout had been uh, explosive yesterday. We're trying to catch 111.12, but later down the road, as you know, 114.50, that's where the the big move starts to kick in. The long-term cycle is going to start to take over. We also have the Canadian Swiss franc. We're back on the Canadian Swiss, Swiss franc. Let me show you um, where this is coming from. Canadian Swiss franc, we've been on this uh, on that one before. We jumped out. Um, and we think now it's the right timing. Take a look. Here it is. Finally starts to raise its head. And here we go. This is the pulling the trigger on the first trade right here. Canadian Swiss franc, the upset potential here is 67.43. Right, we're just coming off of the bottom. We had the one, two, three, four, fourth leg breaking below the previous, taking the previous lows, taking its time on the turnaround, but now starting to pick up the pace. So we're looking at 65.57 as a secondary target, not too far away. And then the big move from 65.57 to 67. 43 so wait for it um so basically we got three active positions in the forex space and we got one position one big position uh well it's not big it's small but it's the main position we have right now in the cryptocurrency market litecoin long term medium term to be honest 95 25 long term that's a different story. Long term, by the way, if you were asking, guys, check it out. Long term, it is 270. Yeah, we probably should give it a different color just to make it easier right there. All right, so that's the Litecoin. Um, today, in the main video cryptocurrency section, we talked about the Filecoin. Now you're not going to see the Filecoin here on our trading list because the Filecoin is an investment more more of an, an investment like uh, situation where well, we're going to pl we plan to hold to hold the Filecoin for a long time. So you're not going to see that on the list here. We're going to do that in our uh, crypto exchange without any leverage zero leverage we just buy the file coin directly physically right then we're going to hold it for a long period of time so that's why you're not going to find the file coin in our trading list for now it's all about the litecoin but we're almost also waiting for break big breakouts in the in the crypto market uh once we have that uh we're going to take more action and we're going to expose ourselves on more positions all right guys so there you go for now bottom line three active positions uh, forex market sorry one active position the cryptocurrency market altogether four positions that's about that for this one that's about that for the day enjoy the rest of it guys we're going to be back on monday same time same place take care